Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of VMAT theme and in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure this block section as in the demo site of this theme. You can find in home page you will have this sidebar section and this block section and in this particular video I'm going to show you how to have all these block section here with different layout and everything. So I'm going to just show you how we have done it in our demo site and uh, you can configure each layout and everything as per your want after you know how it's done. So let's start by logging into your WordPress account here to go to, uh, as you know that all the block section and everything in the home page is set from widget and widget areas. So we're going to go to appearance and then click on widget. And the next important thing is to show all the posts and categories on your front end as you can see in our demo site with all the categories and all the posts. We need to first do is go to posts and create your post and categories. So what I do is I go to categories. I make a particular category. Just put a name and then click on add new category in this way a new category is added and I just add post in it as you can see well, let me delete this one I have made some categories here one two three four five six seven so you can make such categories of the post that you want to show in your home page and after this you need to go to widgets to assign them in their particular block sections so this is the widget area that is home page block area where we have to put a particular widgets to show on uh, our home page so the first widget that we have added in home page block area we need to add is this block post style one i'm just going to click on it and choose the widget area where i'm going to place it and click on add widgets you can also find the layout here so you need to put a block title. The block title can be any category that you choose to show there. So let me see which what categories I'm going to show there. The first thing I'm seeing is fashion. So I'm going to just put fashion as the title. And here you can also put URL. As you can see in our demo site, You can put a link in this title so this is what we are going to do here we need you can put a different link or you can just put the link of the category to get the link of this category you can do is go to post click on categories as I'm going to show this category there I'm going to view this category and just copy this URL and place it there simply like this as I'm working in localhost it, it is showing as such but this in this place you will have your website's URL so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select the number of posts to show there I just have four posts so I'm gonna just select four and then you have the option to show from your latest post or from selected category I'm gonna select the category to show I'm gonna select fashion you can also have this icon like view all icon and then click on save. Now let us go to our front end. Okay, let's go to our front end and see how will this look. Just go to the front end of the site we are working on. And here is the first section. The main post here and other posts within, the, within this category will show as such. It is pretty much as in our demo site. This is the first layout of the block. Now the second one. Let's close this and let's add the second widget area, sorry, widget that is blog post style 2. Place it in the same place, home page block area. It will show as such, as you can see the layout here. The same thing is repeated. You need to put the block title. I'm going to put this category. You can put the URL here. I'm just going to get URL. Like 
Okay. This is the URL. Or you can put your distinct another uh, website URL also there where you want to uh, take your website viewers to. Then you can select the number of columns. You can put select the number of columns to show. I'm gonna I'm gonna select three columns. You can select the number of posts you're gonna show there. And I'm gonna again select a category for this too. And save it. Now as it is saved, let's go to our front end. Let's refresh our front end again. Now you can see your site. Your blog section will show as such. So let's add another blog section without wasting our time. So the next blog widget is this VMAN blog post. Put it in that area. This is the layout you're going to get with this widget. So just put a blog title. Maybe I have this news. So I'm going to put this news category there and I'm gonna get the category URL this is the URL I'm just gonna place it there select the number of posts to show and I'm gonna select the category for this too click on save now let's refresh our front end and this is how your third block will look with three posts of the category. And the next widget, let's close this. And the next widget we're gonna add in this homepage block area is block post style three. Let's add this widget there. It will show as such. So just need to put the title. Well, I'm gonna put sports. Sorry for my spelling, sports, and I'm going to get the sports category URL from here. Here I got the URL, and I'm going to place it there. Now you can select the number of columns, and I'm just going to not change anything from here. I'm just going to change this and select this category, and click on save. Now let's refresh the front end and this is how your fourth maybe yeah fourth block section will look so we have we need to add two more block sections so that it will look as in our demo site now the fourth sorry the fifth block uh, sorry widget is category post slider so this is the widget we're going to show there click on add new sorry add to widget and put the category title I'm gonna put uh, latest happening here just gonna put latest and put the URL of latest happening copy the URL and put it there select the number of posts to show I don't think I have much in this category but let's see and select the category and click on save now just quickly let's get the view in our front end this is the this is the area which is configured with the slider and the next let's close this the next widget that we're gonna place just near this is category post link it's sorry list Add widget it will show as such put the title let's put this fashion category again you can put any URL just gonna get this URL and place it there now select the category and click on save now let's refresh our front end and see how this appear it will appear just beside this widget area it will show as such so in this way you can configure this block section as in our demo site as like this it's pretty much really pleasing so 
I have shown you how you can have this block area as in our demo site like this. So I have shown you until this one. Now these two are from different widget area. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. Let's close this. We have we are done with this home page block area. Now this is the home page full width area. We're going to put a widget there. Now the widget that we're going to put there is block post carousel. It, it is like a slider. Let's choose the widget area. It's like a post slider. So I'm going to put a category name or URL and select the number of posts to show maybe four. Then select a category and click on save. Now let's refresh our front end. This is how this particular block will look. It will appear as a post slider where your post will slide of this particular category. Now the next widget we're going to place in home page full width area second is block post column here. Let's select the widget area and click on add widgets and configure a setting put the block title put the URL any URL you like and select the category and click on save now let's go to our front end and see how will this appear so this is how it will appear with only one block so if you want it to look as in our demo site like this with three columns then you have to place two more widgets same widgets here so I'm gonna place this blog post column two more times in the same widget area and configure and select each category to show save it and next configuration now I'm going to show maybe sports select the category and click on save now that we have kept three widgets same widgets of blog post column now let's see in the front end how will this appear so it will appear like this it will take three columns here and it will show like this the main post will show the latest post will show here and other post in that category will show as such so this is how we have to configure block section in vmat theme and if you have any confusion regarding this setting then you can always refer to our online documentation where we have this home page section and we have shown every configuration that is to be done in the written form if that helps you or if you have any confusion regarding the content of this particular video, then you can uh, write in the comment section below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. Or you can always contact our support team, that is support at accesspressthemes.com or you can talk to our chat agent and you can write in our support forum and we'll try to help you as soon as possible. So thank you very much. Take care.